All right, I got a request to do um, Can't Decide by Black Flag. Uh, I'm gonna do it on the acoustic because it's the only guitar I have that's in E right now. So, it's sound a little weird, sorry. Um, I'm actually gonna start with the main riff and then I'll go back with, to the little intro bit towards the end. Um, so, first note is a G to an A sharp. Uh, so that's third fret and then sixth fret on your E string. I think you get each note, yeah, three times. <clears throat> you go down to a D, which is the fifth fret on the A string, to a C, third fret. Then you go to the fourth fret on the A string. Um, so C sharp, then down to second fret, which is a B, first fret, which is A sharp and then an A, which is just open. So. Um, plays that about four times. The, uh, and it's usually just, just uh, single notes. He's not doing chords or anything. Um... Uh, then you go to the next part, which uh, then it does switch to like a power chord. Um, starts again on that G, third fret. Then moves up to the A on the fifth fret. Then you go to a C, uh, which is third fret on your A string. And then down to a B, second fret. Um, you could also play that, of course, the C and the B, you could play it up here. Um, eighth and seventh frets. Um, so it just does that once. Takes you to the chorus, uh, which is uh, open to the third fret, and you really kind of bend it, give it a little vibrato. So open to G three times, and then uh, I play, this would be a D sharp, um, which is the sixth fret on the A string. Repeat that whole thing. three times and then at the end you just you just go E to D sharp so that's uh, E to D sharp twice and then the third time you do the D sharp twice as long and then you go up to a B. I play it up here, uh, seventh fret. Then a D, uh, fifth fret A string. And then a A, fifth fret E string. And then uh, that's pretty much the whole song in that pattern over and over. Uh, right after that, it'll go back into the, the bass will be playing the main riff and he'll do like a little short, um, solo lead kind of bit. Um, yeah, then we'll just go into the verse again. Um, so yeah, most of those, man, just, I would just do whatever, you know, it's Greg in usually some kind of like flat fifth, atonal, whatever you want to do. Um, although at the beginning he does always play this, I've looked at some live versions and stuff. He does play the intro pretty much the same every time. Um, and then the first couple notes actually repeat at the very end of the song. So I'll show you that. Um, so the intro of the song starts out, you know, he's kind of just feeding back. Uh, the bass starts playing that main riff. And uh, 
he makes a little noise and stuff. And then it comes in and he does uh, this, which is. Um, so the first four notes of it are G, uh, C sharp, D, and then like F sharp. Um, then he'll do so, sort of a similar pattern, but just move down so that it's C, uh, F sharp, G. Uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, then to a, what the hell would that be? A B, A sharp, uh, G sharp. And then it kind of gets, you know, then it kind of starts playing a little faster and I'm not quite sure what he's doing there. So it's like, anyway, just tribute. And then he goes up, actually, again, uh, fourth fret to third fret on the second string. And then maybe like, you know, some chromatic, kind of fast, whatever, bits. So that's what it sounds like to me. I'll play it one more time for you. Um, So that's pretty close. Um, oh, the reason I did show you that at the very end of the song, um, it you play those first four notes again as like the ending. So you're playing the. And uh, yeah, there you go. So hopefully that was close enough.